critique pulls on point. Today we're going to be uh, covering another wrongman video. Uh, we're on the cusp of being considered a, uh, a bully channel, so that's going to be great. <laughs> Gotta do that. This is going to be so much nicer than the last video. <laughs> uh, hopefully, hopefully we don't we don't know yet because I haven't watched this video yet. Ellie's Ellie knows a thing or two about this video, but yeah, um, yeah I, us... I haven't watched it either. So you know, because I you know I like wrong man's videos. You know, I want it to be a surprise. You know, how is it going to be wrong yeah. this time? Well, so, uh, I'm going to spoil it a little bit. We, we cover um, anime Matt often, and that's because he has some flaws. Yeah, he, he just has a style of content that makes him wrong very often. And this video is very much an example. It isn't about Isekai or how science didn't exist in Soviet Union. <laughs> but just, just this video also has all those elements of of what he does in other videos and i thought so, so is this like a, is, is, are we going to be like watching this video and then doing like a deconstruction of the de like deconstructing the parody channel this that is, is this, anime this, match this, this is a well, de deconstruction of the so uh, the problems. B before we get before we begin um anyone want to describe this show like i think that'd and be something can? that's good as a prerequisite yeah yeah i because i've I see the show everywhere. I'm not actually watching it. I, I'm I'm interested in it. It looks, it a, looks a friend like of mine. A, a friend of mine told me a description of the show, and I was kind of interested in it because it has all these like weird fucking characters with these weird backstories. Like I think there's like a government agent. There's an alien. Wait, um, no, you're and talking... other sorts of weird shit. You're wrong. Yeah, I was talking. <laughs> I was talking. I was talking about. I was talking specifically to Ellie though because I think he's watching the show. Yeah, I watched No, if you watched... look at the. No, because I've seen the show on the. Like, because my friend described it. He said, like, all these characters okay, well, have these weird, Ellie, crazy backstories. Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. Are, are you calling my friend a liar? Liar, yes, shut am. up! <laughs> I am, so. Let Ellie to talk, tell you God the damn truth. it! So, yeah. the show is. While well, we're watching this black screen still. Um, the show is three girls in a high school want to do animation. They f make a club to do animation. And basically, you're you're following the the stages of making an animation from the ground up. So, so what? It sounds very similar to what was that other show that came out last year that everyone was gushing over? Can't remember. What it was Co I think no. it was something else. Like this animation no, no, was similar. Sure, yeah, 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 could... yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, about it. Yeah, I think that's so. The, the, um, the difference is is to be real uh, short is that Shirobaka is about corporate animation. Yeah. This is about. And this is this is amateur slash and, indie. I guess. And in my personal opinion, this is more of the the an, a, a a celebration of animation and creativity. Okay. And how All right. so how animation can express your creativity. Right. So whereas Sherabako is a insight cool. into the industry side of things this is more yeah. an insight into the creative side of things now that makes sense that makes sense i can see why people would be into it um and i want and i'm eagerly anticipating what anime uh anime matt's take is so i guess without yeah. any further ado um and typing uh let's uh get into it once it loads because uh watch to give is fucking i think watch to give is being bored kind of give me a sec. Hey. oh no there we go there we go It's pretty rare that I see an anime challenge the medium it is in. I feel like a lot of anime are totally okay with focusing on the go. narrative All alone. Alright, so and be... I'm going Stop. to let it pause right now. What do you think is challenging the medium? Hmm, challenging the medium. Um, it depends, because you have to define what you mean. Like, are we talking about... Are we talking about... um? technical advancement in terms of technology or are we talking about um utilizing the medium in a creative way to do something different i like are you challenging like pre, pre you know preconceived the uh, you know tropes Notions. or whatever or things yeah. like uh, uh or, storytelling um, or so we have two examples one of his is hoseki nukuni land of the lustrous a fully 3d cg and then, well, not fully, fully, but well, 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 yeah, yeah. ninety-nine percent is three D CG, uh, computer graphic animation, and the uh, other show example here is Shield Hero, 
two good shows. If you want to say who is challenging anime, I think it's the wrong word, the wrong term to use. But Hoseki no Kuni challenges what yeah. can be done. There, there's also... Yeah, there's also a, a thing I want to bring up is that, like, a lot of anime is very, like, incestuous when it comes to, like, how they influence each other and stuff. So, when you, when like, majority of anime, it is anime. Now, there are some shows that take, that take influences from different areas. And you could, like, it depends how you define challenging the medium. Because, like, anime is anime. And... Well, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm getting at is we have to, like, we have to first establish what challenging the medium actually means and i ellie give us a little totally spoiler does he define this i <laughs> i can't remember so the answer is probably well we'll no. find out we'll find out but but as ellie was yeah. just saying and i want to respond to right talking about these two shows in particular right these two examples that man of has presented i agree that land of the lustrous would be technic by technicality challenging the medium more because it's utilizing new technology within the same medium to be able to challenge you know the and, notions um, because the common notion is that 3d anime is shit right the common notion is well you know berserk 20 you know whatever that shit right 3d animation can't be good then hisa no Kuni comes in and all of a sudden oh look it's, it's a 3d show that's 99 percent 3d and it looks fucking amazing so i would agree that that is certainly challenging i guess the notions of um, the medium and utilizing the new technology within the medium to achieve something uh, quite good. All right, yeah. so we um, have this, a definition, this... mm. a working uh, definition well... now. Okay, but um, th- there's there's one point I want to bring up later if if Manami Matt doesn't bring it up, but there's another point I want to bring up is that um, like how much does Manami Matt know about like anime in general as well? Like, what's the scope <laughs> of his knowledge? I mean, because. Considering... We've followed, we've been let's, covering let's be, him for a long time. Let's be let's be even more accurate, right? How much does he actually know about animation? Right? Does he know yeah. things like squash and stretch? Does he know well, even he, basics he, of like art perspective and stuff he, like that? He, you know? Well he has a film degree, so I mean <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> this yeah, guy has it? a film degree? <laughs> Yeah, we've talked where? about this before. We've talked about this before. Oh, yeah, that's what he me. claims. He claims he has a film degree and he's worked in the, L- the film L- industry. Listen, what I, 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 yeah, he's that, probably um... like a key grip in the background or something like that. Like, well, I, that's no, what, no, yeah, no, well, yeah, because we, 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 we talked about this with Unknown on his server with Joe once. Because when, when Manime Matt had his comment on Joe's video where he was like, he was like fight me IRL, I have a film degree. <laughs> <laughs> Come to Anime X and fight me IRL. <laughs> it was like yeah, I wear that Manime you know Matt I wa- get destroyed by Joe. I want to see somebody get call- you know, actually called out on that. Like when 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 uh, uh, what's his name, Mother's Basement, right? Like put out his whole like uh, Rezira is the best whatever ever and fight me. I'm like, you know what, Ma- I-, I-, I have half a mind to grab plane tickets, knock on your door, and beat the fucking shit out of you. Yeah, but like, fight, fight just me I mean, I- I'm I'm so sick of that shit. Like, you know, from a bunch of guys who probably ain't never been in a fight in their life. Like, come on, Pete, people, really? Well, I mean, we've seen, well, we've it, seen was a, we've se- it was a oh, joke, God. more of a Joe said something about his video and how basically he was wrong and presumptuous, and Matt said. Well, if you disagree, we can talk about it then and yeah. there. So not not Come. not a literal fight. It, yeah, yeah. Well, his, his his the way he was like wording it made it come off like he was issuing some kind of <laughs> challenge. challenge. Like he was like, he yeah, was but like, um, oh, look, come, the come to Anime X. I'm, I'm open. I'm open anytime. Come well, to Anime X. I mean, they're both American. You just have to bring a gun, and you automatically no. win the argument. Wait, no, nah, yeah. Joe's a Canadian. Joe's Canadian. Dude. Yeah. Uh, also, Joe knows Shaolin Kung Fu. Like, an actual well, fist fight, like, Joe's gonna dominate. Yeah, well, like, the Jesus. Funny, well, the, I, I don't want to talk about Joe, he's not here, right? But the funny thing about that is that Joe, Joe has a master's degree. <laughs> and, and I think he's, what, he's working on his PhD, too? Yeah, he is. I, f- I like, think he yeah, is. Come on. He's, like, and, oh, he does, a... and he does a shitload of actual academic work. Like, he's 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 probably the closest thing we're gonna get to an actual anti-tuber academic and it's like it's like Manime Matt is just waving this film degree around and a dude who has like a fucking masters and it's like dude this is why you don't do that 
I'd it's, it's like, like David and Goliath. More than a degree, I want to see his transcripts. Mm. Let's let's take a look at his transcripts, right? That that yeah. that that that's where the rubber hits hits the road. For and me. just so guess... for everybody, jo we had Joe from Boston Select on our channel. You can watch we his did. videos on the history of Isekai Part One and Two. Yeah, Part One he yeah. barely talks. Got... Part... Don't don't shill with inside of a video. That's really depressing. <laughs> <It's> very... <laughs> well, well, we can show Joe as a whole because we think Joe is fucking great and you should yeah go like, to, you, like you should go on to pause you should go to pause and select on youtube and you should watch his fucking videos because they're really yeah. good we need more yeah, and also and like joe America. has like access to many books and stuff that can give you a wider perspective on anime like some of the books that he linked me like some of the stuff they linked me like stuff about like joe millar or the anime Just machine an advertisement like, at this point yeah, yeah. they're yeah. very yeah, insightful so i better get a one. check in the fucking mail Am I we am I gonna have to get the whip out and fucking get this fucking train back on the rails? Because you... yeah, you're you have the controls. Yeah, what the hell are we talking about? Just play. What are we Watch. talking about again? What's wrong, man? And then Joe. Plugging. That's enough. That's enough. Watch. Right, let's right. go. All right. Yeah. Back to the video. All right. So we were talking about um, challenging anime. Challenging. So let's, let's. Yeah. What? Uh, he, he, man, my Matt doesn't think that a lot of anime challenges the medium. So let's continue. Ding. Frankly, bland with all of the okay, other damn, parts it's of its media, me which it oh, pizza. Okay, hang on. Hold on, I'll let me see this. something. Let me see something. Isn't awful, I may play, I add. I play for you. Literally, my frankly all right, I'm up. bland yep, yep, with yep, all of the go. other parts of its Yay. medium, which isn't awful, may I add. Literally, my all-time favorite anime is bland as hell with its art style, mimicking. Are you fucking telling me that Pit Girl Sakuraso is bland? Matt, 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 Matt. Well, he's saying with, he's saying with his art, with the art style, and um, I, I think gonna have I get to, the am idea. I gonna have to, am I going to have to fight you IRL? <laughs> I think we're going to find out that this episode that he actually cannot tell the difference between something like, you know, what people would consider a moe or a shoujo kind of art style, and, uh... Like, I, I guess it, he, he actually doesn't understand the nuances or something like that? Like, his, well, like... Yeah, like, if you read, like, shoujo manga compared to, like, a sh um, to a sh um, to a shonen to a seinen, like, a lot of the, the, the art styles are extremely different. Like, mm. seinen manga tries to well, be a bit more realistic with his character thing. designs I, and I don't, artwork. I don't, the problem is, is he's showing... Sh he's showing... Hang on, he's showing Sakura so on screen right now, and I don't know, he didn't actually say whether or not he was talking about Sakura so. Again, that's a problem. You should actually, like, tell, well, tell people. What yeah, I, I think what he's, taught, what he's showing, like, in these, like, last few slides are what he would consider, like, blander character drawings. But, like, yeah, uh, the thing he showed right before this, Ori Monogatari, uh, that actually plays on it because it's, like, a shoujo style show, but the, the, the you know, the muscly main character. Is a muscly man character. Yeah, he doesn't. Like he doesn't look. He doesn't look like a bishonen or something you would normally see in that type of show. So, so, so that, so that is technically that's challenging, challenging the medium. Y yeah, like yeah, it, it, it's it's it, no. I would say it's challenging like the genre so, of shoujo so because when you disconnect. So hang on, I'll let you go. I will let you go, Bio. Just let me say that. Yeah, I'm so sorry, I'm a, interrupting you. It's just yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. So there's a disconnect between the visuals of the video and what he's actually saying, right? There seems to be a bit of a problem with that. But anyway, I'll let you go by. Yeah, so with, like, normal shoujo romances, you know, you'd have, like, the female lead, and you have this, like, this this handsome guy, you know, he's handsome, he's good-looking, he's a bit of a brooder, or he's got a bit of a dark side to him and stuff like that. But with this show, it's a bit of a deconstruction, you would say, in that way, where the the main love interest is sort of like, you know, the bully character, or, like, the ugly well, character, the, you know, the guy I, that well, gets shot away. Well, I wouldn't say... Uh, no. Let's not let no, no, let's not use deconstruction, but that because that has a specific meaning and just and okay, overused. maybe subversion. It's overused as fuck. And also, I haven't watched um, the Monogatari show um, or that show in particular, but I do. Uh, okay, but it's, 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 it's he's, different. He's, he's he's not he's not like a bully type character. I know that for a fact. He's more of a. Um, it's actually similar. It's a similar kind of play to Komi San, where it's like the character looks intimidating on the face of it, but it's actually yeah misunderstood right so yeah it's it's a bit different than that but my main thing here is that if if matt is fucking dissing my fucking <laughs> my shit i'm gonna i'm not gonna be happy with you man 
Because I fucking love Piggy and Sakura, so that shit is like. Well, but he really says that the art style isn't challenging anime, and I, I, I have well, so, uh, issue with saying that any art style challenges anime as a whole. Because mm, you need. Yeah. Yeah, because um, it depends on, like, aesthetics what the show's going for. Like, Pet Girl was based on a light novel, and, like, most light novels tend to have, like, this sort of stock style to them, if you notice. Well, like, there's also there's also the fact that not every show has to fucking be this revolutionary, like, challenging everything type thing, right? Like, it doesn't have to, right? It's not That's not the, the aim here, right? So, but anyway, let's, let's keep going anime from its era but there is no denying that shows that really push that boundary of what makes anime anime often turn out to be something special and what's a better way of showcasing this feature than an anime about making anime keep your hands off Ezuken. god i hope i'm pronouncing that right is <laughs> Wait, probably isn't. one of Ezuken. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I probably. I um, mean, another, I, I can't another, say I can't say shit because I always mispronounce stuff, so I don't, yeah. I'm not gonna fucking. Is it okay, no, it yeah. yeah. Um, a thing I want to bring up, um, bring up is this: this isn't the only show out there that has tackled like the creation of like anime or manga or anything involved. Well, they, well, they, yeah, there, well, there's well, plenty of shows that, and manga out there. We that cover already this we topic. already mentioned that. By we talked about that when we brought up Shirabako, so we already mentioned that. What when did that yeah. happen? probably when you were trying to talk <laughs> Pro probably yeah um, okay i apologize but yeah like this this isn't the only show that brings up those topics like um a, a great series that's sort of like um that talks about like the manga industry for example is like um is baku man and yeah. you know yeah, it talks about it's very but, um, good but you see the thing is the problem i have with this video as it stands right now is he hasn't properly defined what he's talking about like what does he no. mean by challenging he hasn't he hasn't properly like explained what he means by challenging the medium he's just said well these these shows all look kind of bland and not a lot of them are challenging the medium and then when he's talking about a show that challenges the medium he's showing violet evergarden right but he hasn't actually explained okay so what is violet evergarden actually doing doing that challenges the medium is it oh well it's just pretty Dust. pretty your animation I well mean, it's pretty Dust. special and that means that we remember it <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry i want yeah, but to give anything can be example. pretty spit okay, and the okay, example okay. was soul eater the soul eater right. challenge anime or manga for that matter yeah. I, I would say that like soul eater has a nice like zany it has a nice like art style to it like well, but I wouldn't say it's the, challenging. Yeah, well, yeah, well, that's the thing, right? Because because man, man, Matt hasn't defined what he's talking about. We can't actually like because we can assume and make up our own definitions, like we have, we did like before, right? Where we were like, okay, well, what what's an anime that challenges the medium? Okay, well, this this one kind of does because it's doing this, right? But because he hasn't defined what he's talking about it's really hard for us to sort of like assume what he means because if he's talking solely about you know, animation quality slash looks slash visuals, then okay, sure. There's maybe. plenty in the uh, more video section that he's done. Like, you could say the same about, like, any one of those shows because all of those have an art style that, um, that, mm. you know, tends to... Well, I'm looking down at the more videos thing in uh, Watch Together right now, so that's yeah. what I'm talking yeah, about. Like... For, so if anybody can't see it at home, but... Yeah, so, like, any one of those, if by the definition of, oh, you know, it's just a different art style or a goofy art style, I mean, even Cautious Hero oh, pretty, has, moments, pretty, has pretty, an art style pretty that's visuals, pretty recognizable. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, again, he needs to define what he's talking about. You can't just be like, oh, well, I'm talking about challenging the medium. You have to actually say what you mean by that so that people can yeah, understand. Yeah, and so, like, so, f like, and... So far, he seems to be making, like, a Sakuga arg kind of argument of, like, oh, it challenges the medium because the colors are pretty, or, or the well, animation is the shiny. the animation is fluid and, well, don't, you know, don't, polished. Don't, don't make any decisions yet about what he's trying to say until we get to... I, yeah, I know, yeah, but yeah, he, no, he, he right, hasn't defined right. anything. It's just, I'm, I'm talking, yeah, I'm talking about the video as it stands right now. Obviously, well, with benefit, with giving him benefit of the doubt, he might just start explaining it right now, right? Like, that's the nature yeah. of this kind of thing where we pause and we talk about the points that he's making piece by piece right but 
like as it stands right now my major problem with this video is specifically the fact he hasn't yet defined stuff if he defines stuff in the next five seconds then fuck yeah that's great i'll give him credit for that yeah but yeah this, and if this... he does i will resend my point yeah but the reason why i i did want to form a working opinion here just just to show some contrast in what we did to show mm. a, a, a an example a, a a way how anime could be challenged etc yeah, while man, anime met here hasn't he has just shown expressive and out of the ordinary but doesn't that doesn't that doesn't challenge anime to do different well can, uh, if you, if you don't mind, uh, I have some thoughts I'd like to throw out there. Yeah, yeah, go shoot. Um, and I would just I'm I'm going to be broader than just anime in of itself, but the entire you know animation as a whole. And so, like when you ask a question like, well, what challenges the medium, right? I can think of works that challenge the medium, and I can explain how. For example, I mean, people, it's it's highly underrated, but like. If you've ever seen Don Bluth's *The Secret of Nim*, was incredibly challenging to the medium of animation. And one yeah. of the things that he did is is uh, he was determined to animate far more smoothly uh, than had been done even by Disney standards of that time. He was an ex Disney um, animator, and he went and formed his own studio. You have things that you know of story wise uh, guys that push the envelope like um, Ralph Bakshi. That, you know, and then like he, he kind of like really did a lot with rotoscoping and stuff like that. That kind of kind pushed the uh, perceptions of what could be done with animation. Um, and and uh, I mean Akira. I mean people will trash yeah. Akira, but like just the inane, or rather insane. <laughs> didn't mean inane, but insane level of detail uh, in backgrounds and things like that. And and you have also like. Just the simple, like something as simple as character acting, like having every single frame in motion, right? And how often do we watch anime where somebody's just like standing there and the only thing that's moving is their mouth, and it's yeah. like that happens like for like two minutes or something, and that happens all the time. Yeah, it's more like what what I you know it, use examples to like kind of illustrate what you mean by okay, this stuff is challenging the medium. Excuse and me, it's challenging. I could give um, an example. I could give an example from the director's own backlog because this is uh, directed by Masaki Yuasa. Um, Ping Pong. He actually yes. went into detail on Twitter about the process of how he animated using. Um, I think he was using either he was using Flash at the time, and the techniques that he actually developed in the process of animating Ping Pong to get the style he wanted so like it, it's not even terribly hard yeah and if you I, even have a bit of experience with I, the director i was, I, I was actually yeah i was actually gonna bring up i didn't know it was the same director i know i thought the style was vaguely familiar like this kind of scratchy type you know rough looking type style was very similar to ping pong in a sense um i didn't know it was the same director so that's actually really good to know because i was gonna bring up ping pong right because ping pong is what i would classify as an anime that kind of challenges you know what you what we would perceive as being the normative right the normative yeah. state of anime because as full when i was just brought up the normative state of anime is usually well you'll have a character standing there and it'll be only their mouth moving well this anime has you know heaps of motion going on it's very fluid it's very you know visually stunning it's more it's done in a more kind of realistic type style as well rather than a typical moe slash anime style so that kind of thing right and again yeah. when we look at matt's video he hasn't yet gotten into it maybe he will but we're just gonna have to see so so, so i can, can one more example of challenging in some way i think uh, in some way that is valid and it is red line not in per se how often characters move or uh, the style itself, but more of the the effort and the quality by ev mm. done, do, doing and, and everything hand drawn. It's not as much as challenging as in uh, oh look at the new techniques, but oh look look what you can do with the old ones. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and I think that's a really impressive thing about Redline. Um, yeah. Are yeah. you done, Ellie? Yeah. Well. Oh. 
Well, there was, there was a point I wanted to bring up about um, pushing the envelope. Because if you look at, like, anime in general, like, like anime often takes, like, story paths or talks about subjects and topics that most storytellers would avoid, you know? Mm. Like, anime has a tendency to tackle some very hard subjects. And you could say that, in a way, that's also pushing... Yeah. You know, the That's boundaries another, another of animation example, yeah. as a whole as a medium, but I'll stop right there for now. You, yeah, you don't really, you don't really... We're not even a minute we're not even a minute in and we we're already fucking like We've already tweet. had a far more fruitful discussion than anything that's gonna be presented in this video. I'm just gonna call <laughs> Yeah, that I'm here. I'm gonna leave my point there and I'll bring up more we examples to, later. We, as well, I don't know I don't know if we need more examples. I think we've pretty much nailed the head on the coffin on that this one. This is so, this is the I, magic of Man the May Matt. He delivers saying in such a like a dud fish like tone with like no imagination or no valid thoughtful points that the audience just has to kind of think of it up on its own and in a way he's challenging the the um <laughs> the norms of anatu <laughs> you know what I, I, have, I, have a, I have a channel i have a great and uh, you know what he should have been he should have been a middle or high school teacher and i'll tell you exactly yeah. why he's he, he, Okay, it is going to sound mean, but you don't have to be that smart to bring up really interesting questions that make your students think. It's not wrong. No, you're not wrong. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah, you, you hear let's... that, Mama Matt? Like, stop any tube and become a teacher. Like, that's your true life's calling. All right, Listen. let's 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 get let's get past the minute mark. Let's go. Of the most slept on anime of the season, the only people. Oh, hang, hang on. I hate to pause again, right? But. Did he just say that this anime is being slept on? Because it's not being slept on. Everyone's no, what he's oh, talking yes. about. <laughs> like, that's objectively wrong. Like, I've seen... I, I, I can't fucking go, like, five minutes without seeing this show somewhere on Twitter or on, like, any other social media. There's YouTube videos popping up left and right about it. So I, I don't know where he's getting this idea that everyone's just kind of sleeping on this. I just wanted to make that really, really quickly. Because I just heard well, that. Well, he's and blocked like, everybody. He's blocked he's everybody, <laughs> clearly, that has talking about <laughs> this. Apparently. So, yeah, let's keep going. Well, I've really heard talking about it is people who are really deep into that seasonal grind, which is just a shame because this show is magnificent. Words like amazing and cool really don't do this show justice. I'm not kidding. When Actually... I Rika has been talking about this show. Really <laughs> I saw Rika. Wait, he Rika. blocked God? How dare he? No, Rika, yeah, Rika has like a few twi Twitter threads where he's been talking about how he really likes the show and how it's challenged, like doing a bunch of shit. Fucking Rika's thread is probably better than this video. <laughs> challenging. Is it challenging anime, this show? I don't, I don't know what he was specifically talking about, but he was saying stuff about how like... Um, he relates to this show because of how it like illustrates the creative process right and how he can relate to how the show is presenting the creative process holy Which shit is... that sounds awesome i'm gonna we ought to send a yeah, message to yeah Rika yeah yeah i'll, I'll be like yo bro it. make a video on this shit <laughs> yeah well i think he should actually because the way he was talking about it on twitter was that he was getting really passionate about it because it was he's, he seemed to be really connecting with it um so i yeah Rika, yeah definitely you should do a video on it um but I actually found that to be quite interesting. I know it's getting a bit off topic, but it's the idea of presenting the creative process because creative process is something that you learn about. It actually it ties into my own fucking studies, funnily enough. Um, it's something that you yeah. I did in creative studies where it was actually one of the things that I had the hardest time with because in order to properly um, articulate what your creative process is is actually surprisingly difficult because a lot of the time you don't think about, okay, so how do I get from an idea in my head to a drawing? Right? What is what is the process behind thinking about the idea and putting that out? You just kind of do it, right? And so that was something that was quite challenging to have to kind of think about in my study. Was well, it's, it's it's also how very, do I? Well, well I'm going. It, to it's also very it, different yeah. per person. The creative process like varies from person to person. Like oh yeah, it does yeah. Like, and that's, yeah. That's the, yeah, <laughs> like, um... But I just wanted to interject and say that this show so far hasn't really delved in how a character gets into a creative process. It just shows. Well, the it's the creative process. process. It's yes, yeah, it's, it's it's that's 
Like, I think, as Phil was saying, like the creative process differs from person to person, but this is showing more of a generalized type thing. But even then, yeah. that's still that's still pretty good, right? Because to be able to actually articulate even your own creative process is, like I said, shockingly difficult for a lot of people. Some people no. can just do it, but yeah, well, I'm going to, I'm I also going think to it clarify depends again, on like environments. So bio, uh, sorry. Um, this show shows the creative process of making an anime, not of a creative fault. If that makes yeah. sense. What? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, no, so no, 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 hang on a minute. Say that so, again, Ellie. Say that again. So he, it shows the creative processing of going from storyboard to drafts right. to etc. Not how a one person thinks about how he's going to make something so okay, well, okay good that, point i think there's it's... a disconnect i think there's a disconnect because i'm i'm more i i already said that i was kind of going a bit off topic with talking about the creative process yeah that. so but so, so i'm not i'm not i'm not to... making i'm not actually making the claim and i don't actually think that was very i think rika was actually making the claim more similar to what you're talking about but relating that to his own creative process right so that that's more of what I'm talking about is that he is right. relating to the show because the creative process he is sh seeing within the show is relating to his own struggles as a creator, right? And the struggles that the characters are facing in the creation of their anime. Again, I haven't watched the show, so I'm just I'm just spitting in the dark here, right? But the struggles that they are encountering and the challenges they are encountering are challenges that Rika is relating to. Of course, I don't want to speak for Rika. I'd have to go and find his friend. I'd have to bring him in here, you know, or whatever, to actually articulate his own points. But this is just the what I'm gathering. And what I'm talking about is just saying that that's really interesting to me to see someone talk about that because of my own personal experiences with the creative yeah. process and learning about that at, you know, Polytech and whatnot. So um, that's, Rich, that's, so that's, want, that's, can... that's more of what I'm talking about. Noritsu, if you want, I can just link him the video when it's posted, and then he can write like a twenty-page thread on the co in the comment section. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll 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 write us a book like he did when we covered this. <laughs> but um, I I we, legitimately we, want him on at some point. That'd be fun. yeah. I love Rika. Rika, we love you. Don't worry, man. We we, we might have our no, disagreements. We might have our disagreements. We might not agree on everything, but we love you, man. We, we should get more Rowan Rika no. on a podcast on a pause and pause okay. together. That'd be great. Okay, I think I think I think I've had my tangent. <laughs> right, I wanted to have my tangent. Yeah, let's go let's, go. let's go. Let's go. Yeah, Ellie. Ellie's just like, let's God damn on. it, we're yeah. Let's keep going. Day, this anime gives me vibes of the original Fully Cooly. You can tell by the animation, the characters, the story, that some serious passion has been poured into this anime. So let's talk about keep your hands off of Ezuken. This screen. anime follows three girls as they slowly build up an animation club. You have a girl who specializes in actual animation, i.e. moving characters, a girl whose skills are more geared towards drawing backgrounds and backdrops along with directing, and a girl who is a bona fide producer. By the way, I really like this approach. Shirobaka, another anime hey. about making anime, for what? Man, no. Shirobaka? An anime as it is. Yeah, hey, Shirobako. <laughs> Shirobaka, <laughs> white idiot. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Shirobaka, white idiot. Uh, All right. He made up a change. new insult for the Japanese. Uh, yeah. never, Shirobaka. Never, never change, Matt. Never change. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, I think I want to bring up is I think that's actually very interesting that you have these each of these girls fill in a particular like well, niche. Or function uh, well, in I mean, drawing. That's, I think that's, that's very interesting. That's, I mean, that's that's typical of most creative things like this. Though, I, I, right? I know, but I think it's, it's also, you know, I think it's interesting. That... It's also storytelling. Yeah. I know. It's also, anima I, I, I think it's it's also I, animation in general because that is a collaborative project. I, I know, but I think it's like interesting that they're like focusing on these specific three. Because like usually when you see these type of shows... They have like more multiple people. Like, oh, some dudes. I get the feeling. I get the feeling. I get. I get the feeling you're predicting exactly the point that Matt's about to make because he's bringing up sure. You know, he's bringing up this, which is again a more industry insight, which it involves uh, a lot more people. And of course, the the, the free girls recruit more people who have more special specialties. So don't worry. All right. Oh so, yay! 
So anyway, let's let's keep going. Really just kind of throws you in head first with the whole production crew. It can just leave you feeling a bit overwhelmed with the actual process of creating anime. Keep your hands off of Ezukin though is quite different. As I said, I'm going to hit pause real quick just, right. just because yeah, no, no, I, I have to, I have to point something out. It, 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 it can can you get slides or or like you know shots that don't have the subtitles in them? Like <laughs> That is oh, distracting. That we brought I mean, up I mean, in the past. That is, yeah. Oh my that god! Is like, I didn't even notice. Oh no! That is that is that is so distracting. It, it well, is, oh man. Oh, the thing it, is, it, it is not for Asoken and it is for uh, Shitsiro, whatever. Hey, see, come on! See, you can. There's there's got to be a double this somewhere that that is. Well, no, well, no. Go go even better. Go go. Yeah, just go to nia.si.com and download the Ross. Yeah, wear your pirate hat. You know, come on. Like, yeah, uh, come on, bro. Well, well, I mean, I don't know where he's getting this from, right? But we we've made this point Crunchy in the roll. past. We, well, how many video we've made this point a few times in a number of videos. I don't even think it's specific to Matt either. Like we've said that you know you shouldn't have like you keep subtitles. Saying, you keep saying Pacific instead of specific. Specific. Specific, spe oh, specific. dude. It's, mean, it's, it's very very peaceful It's just to Matt. a New Zealand accent, okay? It's very, Maybe I'm fucking it up. It's very peaceful know. to Matt. I'm sorry. I just, I just <laughs> had to point that out. I don't mind. No, I don't specific. mind. It's fine. I don't mind. It's fine. Well, he's I, on I the know. Pacific Ocean, so. Yeah, yeah. It's, no, it's, no. It's, I think it's yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, like, why can't, I, I, I'm pretty sure he got these, um, these, um, these animation from freaking Crunchyroll or something. Like, he's got to have a Crunchyroll well, account. Well, I mean, I wouldn't, I, I don't know, I don't know, I, I don't want to assume, but it's like, again, I, I think the main point is, yeah, don't, don't have subtitles from the anime in your, like, B-roll footage, because that's what this is, basically, right? It's just Like, footage. just download RAWs or screen caps without yeah. subtitles, like, it's not that hard. Like, some, uh, yeah, find, or find, like, a release that has, like, soft subs, so you can turn them off and vlc or something like it's not it's not it's not that difficult but anyway let's let's keep going they yeah, intentionally yeah, but, keep it oh, bare no. bones and also make it known that all three of these characters are complete amateurs and have to learn on the fly this really gives you a better view on who does what in a production along with some of the limitations you would have if you really did only have three people on hand which by the way the show explores extensively I mean, their first animation, they end up having to cut out roughly 90% of what they originally had planned as they realized they would never hit their deadline otherwise. And can I just say, God bless right, so whoever came up with the character. This part is pretty boring because it just is a summary of the show. Yeah. And, and it pretty much like states the obvious, like, no shit that three people can't meet a deadline for yeah, no, he no, has to hit eight minutes. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is typical man, 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 fear, fan fear, right? It's, it's he, he, he's, he, he's, tr he, he presents videos that look like they're trying to start conversations and like have like actual points, but then he doesn't actually make the point. Oh, he come just on. talks about the show. To be, to be Challenge honest, though, talking soon, about the, the show benefit is... of the doubt, like he's he's making us think and come up with the points I, for I guess, him. I so. guess. I guess. Honestly, though, like talking about the show to some extent is kind of ne necessary because what is yeah. this what is he yeah. trying to do right with this video it seems to me that his primary aim is to plug this show and to convince you to go watch it right right and and uh, I, i'm i'm I, mm, i can i, I can agree hold. with that but I the think... topic of the video is challenging the potential of anime when yeah, i was explaining the show it reminds because right. we we covered his um excel world video where he talks about sao i love what that if, show what if, what i hate if, sao if, but i love excel world he made a video which was about um what if excel world blew up instead of sao right he then made life would like be that. so much better well he he made that video full and i think you, you can go back and watch our uh, our episode on that right and the issue with that video was he doesn't actually answer the question he doesn't answer the question of what if excel world had you know what is the hypothetical scenario and what ideas can we gain from this it was j literally just him talking about excel world for 11 minutes like he just like and a review it, right this is called it's a clickbait title that's what it is yeah. he's using clickbait yeah. titles and, 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 and that's the thing is like, well, actually like, look at the title of this challenging the and, potential of anime. Yeah. That is a phrase that and, really and actually and doesn't make any sense, but it's very, very like, 
Deepak Chopra levels of yeah. enticing and shit. And you see, you know? here's the thing. If he just wants to make a video where he talks about a show that he likes and he wants people to watch it or whatever, I don't have a problem with that. That's not, that's not a problem, right? That's fine. It's just the way that he frames his videos to be like these, like, I guess, analytical slash, you know, conversation starter type He's a respect thing. Remember, he was once I, I do want to point analyst. out one thing, like... Wait, why are we picking on him so much more than everybody else that does the same goddamn damn thing? Because he because has it's some... easy and we're lazy. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. All right, I'm I'm strapped Well, it's in, not. So. Well, it's I, not. I, I it's it not just because... that. It is that, but it's not just that. It's the fact that his videos are just the perfect encapsulation of everything we find wrong with AnyTube, right? Oh, yeah. It's, it's 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 the perfect. It's 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 a short, perfect example. That we can call to to be like this is the what this is the all of the things that we don't like. He's not explaining things properly. He's not actually answering the points. He's not you know showing relevant you know footage. He's and the use of about, weasel words like, like like there's a lot of different things in his videos that are just like he 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 presents them in such a clear way that it's easy to pick them out and kind of talk about okay these are actual issues that do apply as you said full to a lot of AniTube channels. Like, lots of channels make these same, you know, sort of issues and have these issues that are really annoying. But it's just Man and May Matt just keeps making the same mistakes over and over and we can keep kind of, you know, <laughs> bringing them up. So that's why we end up keep just continuing to do Man and May Matt videos. And it's, it's like, I don't want to keep bullying them. <laughs> I, I want to talk about uh, uh, the other problem is no other anti-tubers are just not fucking uploading videos that are interesting <laughs> to talk about <laughs> like when was the last time Mother's Basement put out a, a, an actual video that was worth covering on the show not like, quite God, a while ago so boring exactly. like that's the thing Man and Matt isn't boring because occasionally he'll hit you with something that just kind of like yeah yeah occasionally every so often you'll get Stalin banned science full that's why. That's yeah. why we cover Man of Man. Or Tanya's Listen, a World Man War II anime. is a parody channel. He's the greatest parody channel that's ever existed. He's better than Giguk, man. He Maybe is just... he's, sec- like, he's, sec- he's secretly like the, the best anti-tuber. Like, secretly. And we're just fans of him. Like, <laughs> just secretly yeah. like the most big brain, I- but, um, high IQ channel. I would rather this guy get money for doing what he does than Mother's Basement. To be fair. <laughs> okay, oh, shall so we continue? Let's... Yep, yep, yes. let's keep going. Director of Kanamori. I feel like producers are an often overlooked part of the animation process, and the amount of work and their importance to a project is massive. And they do not hide that with the character of Kanamori. I mean, despite not having any artistic abilities that we know of, she is clearly the president of the club and the sole reason that they ever get anything created. She makes time sheets, keeps them on track, and makes sure that the main concern for her artists is actually making the art and nothing else. Alright, she's, she's a good character. She's a good character. Yeah, um, a, a thing I want to bring up is that, like, and, um, is that she's basically like a hype man or the face. Like essentially, like she, because no, she's not the hype like, man. She's a manager. Yes, yeah, she's a manager. She's like she's basically like a manager or producer, and you you have these type of people in jobs, like um idols, bands have them as well. Like you have people who well, she, you have well, people. Well, it's a producer, right? So it's that's basically like the organization side of things. Keeping you know, here's the times. You have to get it done by this time. You know, we have to keep it on track. You know, basically God, me trying to, ra- to me, basically me trying to fucking ta- tard wrangle all of you people to get back on the fucking rails. <laughs> I, I thought Ellie was the producer, and you're like his assistant. You're like no, his quartermaster. No, I hate to say it, Ellie, but you're too quiet. To- <laughs> I'm. <laughs> Ellie is like he, the he stage. Is... He does the stage props. He sets everything up. He's the audio guy. Yeah, he's the he's literally no, no, no. the Ellie audio is like the stay at home mom who's and like visuals. making sure that everything is taken care of. And visuals, yeah. So like Ellie's sandwiches. the mom in this family, and yeah, Naretsu's the the uh, the person with the pants. Nah. <laughs> All right, we've established right. our, our right. gay we're, family. We're, we're establishing the dynamic. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but um, basically what I want to say is that I think this is a good point from Manana Matt's perspective. It's because, like, in, in these sort of situations with, like, if you're a producer or a, or a content creator, 
it's good to have like a hype man or like a face well, if you're well, not. Well, I don't. I, I think he's. It's not a bad point, just because I do agree that you know the idea of the producer is kind of like a lot of people don't actually understand what a producer does. They're just kind of like, oh, they're a producer, and they uh, yeah, like um, like producers like and they, managers are like he's, sometimes like the unsung heroes. Yeah, like, like he, some he, of the shit not, they do so, is so amazing. So he's not he's not like wrong in that. The fa- for once, he's not wrong, right? He's not wrong in the fact that yeah, producers are kind of overlooked quite a lot because it's like it's it's not something that's always like visually apparent when you see the final product, right? So I, I'll give him that that he's not wrong on this, but then again, it's not like this is a hard point to make, either. So. I, I I know, but I wanted to give him the I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt that he actually yeah, pointed yeah, that well, out. We're because... trying to be fair. We're trying to be fair. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's listen. Ma- despite how much we're making fun of Maname Matt. All right, like yeah, I'll, yeah. we'll give him the bit of the doubt because one day he will become the right man. We're just gonna pray, guys. <laughs> one day, one day. But anyway, let's keep going. Money. Let's keep... I mean, Kanamori truly is a producer at heart. That and can I just say the characters of Kanamori, Asuka, can and I Mizuki just for Will blend so good bits. Yep. There was those quick, quick shots, like a oh, half yeah. a second, that didn't add anything at all, and it was more of a distraction. Mm. You mean? Oh, I don't. I didn't even perceive that. What was the shot in particular? Well, it was just a a, a dark skinned girl standing in front of some guard people with a mic in her hand for half a second, and then it cuts ah. to this thing. Why have that mm. in your video? It's mm. distracting. Because wait, what was that? He needs background for the trick, huh? Yeah. All right. Let's keep going. Filling well your together. Backgrounds. I'm sure I said all their names wrong. Once again, I'm sorry. Their names are really freaking hard. These three characters really do feel yeah, like Japanese. incredibly close friends. Well, again, I can't, I can't fucking throw stones in glass houses, Lolly. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go at them for mispronouncing names when I would full literally just got on my ass for that just a minute ago. Right? <laughs> I was just giving you a hard time. Yeah, I know, man. I know. I know. It's all in good fun. I don't mind. Like, I don't. I, 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 but it, but that's my thing. Right? I don't. For the video. I, I gotta practice. Yeah. He, he <laughs> can practice. He could look it up on um, Wikipedia or like I don't know. Listen to how people pronounce it in the show. Pronounce it. Or he could yeah, just no, intentionally wrong. pronounce it in the dumbest ways possible and see if anybody picks up on it. Yeah, no, that's not. You know, it's not wrong. That's not wrong. I'm just saying that in terms of in terms of looking at this critically, right? I'm not gonna like throw stones at him for that because I understand. I, I like I have similar issues, so I don't well, particularly like doing the whole glass house nonsense. Personally, I'm pretty bored with people saying they can't pronounce names because that's not really a important or embarrassing thing. Yeah, it's not a massive deal to me. So oh, I don't. That's cute. I don't need to hear it from every person ever whenever they try to pronounce a foreign name, mm. especially yeah. in videos. Okay. Yeah, Eli. like. <laughs> 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 yeah, like no, but if he gets it wrong, he gets it wrong. Like, well, when you when you when you're dealing with shit that's in another language, let's be honest. When you're dealing with stuff that's in another language, it kind of behooves you. To learn the basics of how to pronounce that language. Yeah, at least the basics. Basics. And oh, oh my goodness, there are entire YouTube channels devoted to learning Japanese. You can go on them and go to their like beginners like level shit and it will teach you how to pronounce shit. It's not hard. Yeah. It's not hard, brah. Or just listen to the, the to the voices, and pr- oh no! I'll tell you right them. now, this guy probably watches dubs. I could be wrong. <laughs> I could be wrong, but yeah. he probably watches dubs. I would be so disappointed in him if he thought. Yeah, that. but I'm um, like actually listening to ja- like actually listening to Japanese people speak will actually help with your pronunciation because you'll yeah. know what it sounds like. Yeah, you, because you, like you, um, you pick up on because like when time, I speak yeah. Japanese, my voice is a lot softer and stuff. So. Because cause that's how it sounds like. Because when I speak Japanese, it's softer. So, right. like, yeah. So, All right. I'm done. Let's keep going. I don't have to suspend my belief for that to occur. And how Kanamori is constantly on both their asses about getting the Kanamori. animations done on time. It just feels so fluid and real. Kanamori. The way Miski is always encouraging Asuka. And even how Kanamori sometimes plays into her great big fantasies. 
It's wholehearted and sweet and just makes some truly incredible moments. Speaking of which, we need to talk about we the animation need. itself. After all, this is the main reason I wanted to talk about this show. This is where the anime Wait, truly shows so its colors. There's going to be a, a important thing coming up. But, you know, right. he says the import animation is so fantastic and great. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing to remember besides what he's just going to say is, is this director indeed did ping pong before. So indeed, right. it's not this the director did ping pong before, so it's not odd or strange that this show has also a similar art style that is unique and fresh. Right. Man and Mehmet doesn't do research, so he wouldn't know this. He just sees... <laughs> oh no, I think I understand where this is going. Right. Oh god. Alright, let's, let's, let's get it over with. How do you portray how good a character's imagination is? Do you show them daydreaming? Do you just have other characters talk about it? Or do you have the whole world around them be Did changed she just buy to a pack her of imagination? Condoms? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you never Maybe. know. No, it's, you never know. It's just, is she actually a he? It's a <laughs> it's soap for for the washing machine. All right, all right. Let's. Oh, uh, boo! All right, let's keep going. I mean, I think you guys can figure out which path this show took. The entire anime changes to suit Asuka's imagination, and its deeply stylized and sketchy art style will leave you in awe. First off, this world these characters are in is already gorgeous, but whenever Asuka begins going on a tirade explaining how certain objects work, how they fail, the whole world begins to take shape around those thoughts. I mean, it leads to some truly remarkable scenes, and we get to see firsthand just how vividly she sees the world. The same can be said for the character of Mizuki. She encourages Asuka's ideas by pitching solutions and even her own ideas that can continue into these great large scenes. And finally, Kanamori is- Alright. Yeah. Yeah, it's, he's yeah. talking great things about the anime. I, I, I gotta- so, so the show is using like a show don't tell mechanic, like it's showing you how the character like views well, the world when they go into like well, this. The show is very zone. much telling you how what the characters think about. I, 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 oh, that sucks. I got. I no, got. I got. It's good. I got to say something about this, right? For a guy with a film degree, right? He's not laying out certain things, and I. I one of the reasons I hit pause where I did, right, mm. is right here. This shot right here is a great example, and you'll see it once you start paying attention to it is of the golden ratio, which works very, yeah, very well with letterbox. Yeah. This is a perfect example of the golden ratio in action, right? He's, I'm not even a photographer, and I know about mm. the golden ratio in art, the golden ratio in shot composition, in cinematography, yeah. in photography, and stuff like that. This guy's a film degree. The least he could do is actually, like, explain that's, how these shots work. And That's and, a common... Oh, sorry, I'll let you finish. Well, I'm just saying, like, I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm like, he's saying these things. And I'm like, okay, illustrate this. Illustrate yeah, this. Yeah, that's a common, that's a common complaint we've had about Manime Matt, is that he, because he, we know that he has a film degree and that he supposedly, right, has worked on film sets before, right, and that kind of thing. I would actually be really interested to have him talk about that kind of stuff. Like, to actually go in and be like, okay, so this is this what this shot is about, this is the golden ratio, this is how it kind of works, you know, this uh, you know, this shot is really good because if it's framed, it's framed in a very, you know, specific way, the background and foregrounding is really good, it actually is really good in the it, shot. Well, this shot is actually, yeah, that's why I it's paused really it, you have, you know, there's, 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 I noticed that, 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 I noticed that, I noticed that, like, before you said it, right, I noticed that when you, like, started started going off full i was like oh 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 yeah oh yeah i get it now i get what you're saying because <laughs> i was like yeah um, like the foreground is really good <laughs> yeah i mean it, yeah i'm i'm I'm, su I'm i'm surprised by a lack of like cinematic language that he talks about because yeah there there are some anime that do use the aspects of use cinematic language for example um how you get to know soma I'm pretty sure not many people well, have heard of it, thing, but it used right? a lot of it's, cinematic it's language. Though, like, and he, he could talk well, about that. Yeah, yeah, and that's he, he the could... thing. Even though it's animation, there's a lot of crossover because you still have to think about shot composition and um, all that kind or of stuff. Or the rule of three. Yeah. The rule and, of and three is another one, yeah. 
Yeah, so it's like that's that's stuff that actually would be interesting to kind of analyze, right? That oh, stuff. Oh, oh, by the way, I don't have a film degree. I just know it because of, of the people I interact. Yeah, with. Yeah. So imagine, so imagine if Matt used his film degree to actually talk about these things, right? That would actually be really interesting, like because we're we're picking up on these things and we don't like. I mean, I have background in art, right? But I don't have a specific background in film, but I know I've, I've picked up a few things over the years, right? So it's like. Imagine if we can pick up on these things just like that. Imagine how well he should be able to, right? And be able to go, oh man, look at this. The way the background's blurred to be able to indicate, you know, the, 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 to, give, to give it depth, right? Like that kind of contrast thing. Contrast with the light, whatever. Yeah, the contrast of the light, you know, that kind of stuff. It'd be very interesting stuff to kind of talk about and to have a channel on YouTube talk about anime in that way. But it's a waste of time. I think there, Every I think frame there's a channel that did a like few videos about it. Guess who it is? Guess. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We've already shilled Joe already. This, this, this. I know, but it's our, but it's our buddy Joe from well, Pause. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we, but, but, but there, but there, for, there for, have yeah, been for, there have been there have been channels like here and there that have actually tackled anime, but usually in cinema. I mean, I think yeah. And yeah. most of them are like they 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 were here for a while and then they were they they kind of like retired. Like every frame of painting yeah. had like some great videos. I think it had one on um Satoshi Kon, for example. And it's like yeah, yeah these guys yeah. actually have like film degrees and they use them in in these mm. these videos where they you know explain some of this stuff. Um, yeah. But it's like why? Okay, Madame Matt, you've got this degree. Why the hell even, are even, you not even, using even it? Even if it's like the most basic bitch degree. Like, even if it's like, because my do my like certificate in creative studies is the most basic bitch thing that I don't particularly try to brag about a lot because it's such a minor fucking degree, like not even a degree. Yeah, right? it's it's a level two course or some shit. Like, yeah, yeah, NCAA. yeah. Like it's 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 better than most, but it, it gives me in it, it, doing that gave me insights into a lot of creative shit, which means I can kind of talk about that every so often, like I did about the creative process, right? So th again, just having even a more tangentially advanced knowledge than the average viewer is would be really great to have a channel talk about those things and help educate people right and be and like hey like... maybe you should think about this type of stuff when you're watching anime like the shot composition and maybe it'll give yeah. you a better appreciation for it but and it's not like this information is like hard to find like for no. example there's there's dozens of channels like dedicated to talking about like tropes and storytelling like uh, one example yeah, I can bring up is literature devil. Whole, but as as full said, like there's been a few that have cropped up here and there, or have covered anime once or twice. But there's not a lot of very specific anime, you know, cinematography type channels that talk about that kind of thing. So it would be very yeah, well, interesting. Um, right. that, so just, yeah, I think just... I want to bring up is that um, I mean, literature devil did a video about okay, like right. Eastern and Western yeah. storytelling, and I, I think it's yeah, yeah. fascinating. I want just to just to to oh. to recap a little bit. Um, the first part we talked about how he he doesn't really explain um, a minimum doesn't explain things. Mm. The second part here sort of is is that he um, he doesn't make use of his knowledge. Yeah. So there's are two flaws of his, and there's a third one coming up. All right. Oh boy. So let's let's continue. Is there to make sure that they can put these ideas down to paper so I other people can see it. And that's exactly what she does. The scene where they finally get the chance to show their very own anime to a group of people, the anime shows Asuka's imagination is truly reaching them. This is done once again by showing their physical world changing around them. Some characters just being in shock and having trouble differentiating fiction from reality. It's a powerful moment because we finally get to see Asuka's imagination truly affect other people can i point All something of this out real is quick done in this pause? yeah mm. okay i do have to point out the animation itself is not spectacular mm. and um there's a the, okay it's a, a very well it's a right, very right, right, right. it's a very expressionist style i mean masa you uh, uh i can never get his name right masa you masaki yuasa Am yeah, I correct? Like yeah, I, Yuasa, I, I always mess up the guy's name, but like the, the, um, Yuasa, it, you know, he has a very like very style, very specific style. It's it's very sketchy, like the guy said. But besides the style, right? 
the actual like I I don't see and 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 I'm not an expert on animation, so I could be flawed. You know, I could be wrong, but mm. I don't see that much degree in difference between and like the raw actual animation that goes into the the scenes, the actual animating, you know, like keyframes versus uh, 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 in betweening in between frames. I I don't see any kind of like incredible amount of smoothness there. Like when he talks about um, when he talks about like oh this animation is really great. Okay, it's highly detailed. Um, it's very stylized, extremely sp- expressionistic. It's quite. It's quite... It's quite fluid in some parts, but it, well, it, it, exactly is it is it very fluid here? But like then he's showing some scenes that I'm like, this is choppy as hell. Yeah, like, that's the thing, right? Is is in this particular scene here, it's good, right? The the motion is fine, right? But then just a few minutes ago, we were seeing two characters just standing and talking. Yeah, and it's like, you, like with no again, body language, thing, right? no move, no no movement, like. And we brought yeah, and we brought that up a little bit before about how you know. Well, anime, it's just like they'll just stand there and have the mouths moving, right? And it's and the thing is, is like I can kind of get that because I mean you can excuse it because of cost, you can excuse it because of, you know all that kind of stuff. Um, but it, it's like, yeah, it's not so really the show has some exactly. Yeah, the, the How show, is the show, the show has some moments of Sakura in it or whatever, right? Like Sakura. it has those moments where it's like flashy and it, they put all of the. You know, it's got fluid animation and that kind of stuff. This girl running up the wall and doing a jump or whatever. But the, but is that, like, the entirety of the show? No, it's not. It's, like, maybe 20 30%, right, of an episode. Or maybe even less than that, right? So, that's something to kind of keep in mind, I think, when we're talking yeah, about... Yeah, and yeah. I just want to defend... There's a point I want to bring up. Oh, no, I just want to defend the show real, real quick. Uh, I, half an hour by now, probably, but... You saw the three girls walking, and they all had their unique walking gates. That's and cool. That, that's that's character acting. That's that's very key. Yeah. So the show has it, but when characters st- are standing still, are standing still. They're not. They're not doing. Yeah. They're not adding extra motion when characters are just standing still. When characters are moving, they are moving, but they're not adding extra a- mo- yeah. movement on top of it. Yeah. Now, I'm um, a thing that I just wanted to bring up about how he's talking about how, like, the people that are watching that particular animation, like, they're trying, they're starting to blur the lines between right, reality and fiction. I think what he's talking about is immersion, because mm-hmm. you know there are shows out there that can make you really immersed in the characters and the story and lore, and you know it is amazing when a show can actually yeah. do that, like get you so immersed, like it's almost like you're there. He's talking about how the show is portraying that feeling within itself yeah, it's very right? expressionistic so it's... in how it's doing it yeah yeah, yeah. So. and i i kind of wish that he had brought that up where it's like oh you know this scene also symbolizes you know immersion you know the yeah. feeling of someone being immersed in a show or well, animation let's, let's see and that would he, be interesting let's see, let's see what he says gorgeously stylized look i mean when the anime is taking place they do a really great job building these beautiful worlds but when the show gets to these animation scenes they really just kind of let their art style fly free. This is what I'm talking about when I say challenging the potential of anime. Yeah, that literally not- says nothing. Oh my! <laughs> no, no, no. He's like, this is what I told you. They let their animation style fly free. How? I yeah, have. Like- I mean, when it really comes down to is he like my? Oh, because, and maybe I'm putting words in his mouth. I, all right, maybe I am, but it sounds like he's saying because Masaki Yuasa, Masayuki Masaki, I think it's Masaki. Masa- I can't, Masaki. I'm, I know Masa. I'm frigging. See, we see, we're all we're all bad at it. I can, I just can never remember this guy's name. <laughs> nah, it's but fine. Uh, it's fine. Yuasa sensei. Gaijin. You know, the, the, <laughs> y- Yuasa has a very specific style to his yeah. art and to his keyframes yeah. and everything, and because of that, oh, the animation is amazing. And I'm like, I'm yeah, not really seeing anything. anything unique when it comes to raw in betweening. I am not yeah. seeing anything unique when it comes to storyboarding. The only thing I really see that that's unique that you're showing me, that you're showing me, right? 
is is the style. It's just the style, not yeah. like you know, not anything else. I'm not seeing anything that to me so, really is that challenging. So, so does anime map define challenging anime as having a flashy style? Because I Most remember we would basically. Because I remember, yeah. Because remember when he was talking about it. He brought up Violent Evergarden, and Violent Evergarden again is a very visually stunning show that has you know pretty visuals and is very like it's Kyoto Ani style, but it's you know still and it's recognizable as Kyoto Ani style, but it's you know super super detailed and flashy, and the animation's so fluid a lot of the time, and it looks really gorgeous. Again, is that challenging anything though? Is it challenging? Yeah, and that's my to have that stuff. And, and that's my problem with this freaking video. It's the Sakuga argument. Like, is is the Ghost in the Shell, the original movie that came out in the 1990s, like, is that challenging anime for looking beautiful for the time? Because... Right. Or, or because it's not shiny or as expressive, that means it just gets thrown, as- thrown aside to the trash. Like, it's a Sakuga fucking argument. And yeah. and the problem with this, like, this Sakuga, like, mindset is that what looks brilliant, what looks brilliant today will look like shit two years down the road because someone else will come out it's better. It's recency bias. Like, and I, recency yeah, yeah. bias and chronological snobbery. They're both logical yeah. fallacies. Go look them up. Yeah. All right, let's 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 keep going. I feel like a lot of anime forget that they are drawn and aren't bound by the real world. They can explore and make incredible scenes that would otherwise be impossible in traditional film. And that's exactly what Keep Your Hands Off Ezekin is doing in this Best show. Can. I feel Stop. Um, yeah, I, I, I have a problem with that um, that argument. Um, like, I mean, but, fuck, let me just read The goals of it's each like, individual yeah. show is going to be different. The goals of yeah, exactly. Keep Your Hands Off of Ezekin yeah, exactly. is specifically exploring the creation and create creative side of amateur animation, which is why it's stylized its very specific and, way. And, what he's trying Hero, to say... Yeah. And Shield Hero is trying to be a bit more of a down-the-earth type of high fantasy type of thing. So, yeah, and, and I... And I it, Right, and I, I, I and I have a problem with that argument he just said, and I and Lolly basically took the words out of my mouth because I was trying to formulate the thing, but whatever. Um, like each show will have its own aesthetic for the purposes of what the show is about, and it's like that thing I brought about, like seinen or shonen, yeah. or or shojo. Like which is they what all he have sort of different this. styles. Which which is what he recognizes with this. He recognizes that it, the show does have its a very recognizable and unique kind of style to it, but he can't express what makes it work with the show because he talks about the style of yuasa yuasa style has changed a lot throughout the years go look at kaiba if you've never watched that you Mm. should but go go watch kaiba and that stylized more after like 1950s and 1960s animation you know tezuka style or you know tezuka's approach to it um which in itself was like trying to mimic like uh well the like golden age disney Disney stuff yeah um so like he recognizes that there's a style but he automatically thinks that having a unique style necessarily means objectively better animation or that every show should copy this like okay imagine like imagine if mobile suit gundam tried to do gurren lagan at some point it would be fucking jarring because it's like it doesn't fit the subject material lolly as a, as a Gundam fan, I would never watch a Gundam okay. like that. That's so beside the fit. point, dude. It's, and it's yeah, obvious. Yeah, yeah, that's bes- that's besides the point. It's Contra- obvious. But I was gonna bring up um, the fact that he he brought up Land of the Lustrous really early on in this, right? I'd argue that uh, the thing is with Land of the Lustrous, it's not just a style, right? The fact that it's three D physically means that they can do more with it that's why land of the lustrous succeeds where berserk 20 was it 2016 i can't fucking remember i won't say they can do more yes. with it but they it's easier to do certain things like three... well let me let, well let me finish right because what i'm saying is the reason why berserk 20 2016 failed was because they didn't utilize the 3d medium properly right they utilized the f- they they tried to do a 2D animated show in 3D, and that's not how that works, right? Yeah, and um, uh, uh, like let I'll, him finish, I'll, I'll let him finish, point, let him like, finish. Your point, he was suit. taking a breath. No, 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 you gotta let me finish. I paused. I wasn't done yet, Bo. Oh, right? sorry. I just I just paused to catch my breath, right? Because I'm a little sorry. tired. I'm a little tired. Um, what I was saying before you interrupt me was, 
so Berserk 2016 failed because it was a trying to essentially just make a 2D animated show in 3D. And that doesn't work because you're not using the same medium. It would be equivalent to trying to create, like... It's like the indie video game developers. They try to create these walking sims and these really s visually stunning, like, you know, oh, you can walk around and explore, you can do all the, you know, whatever, right? And it's like some narrative-driven, like, gone home, right? The problem with these types of things is they're not actually utilizing the medium. You're in a video game. A video game where you can do all of these different things with gameplay. Like, you could tell narrative through gameplay, like, you know, something like Dark Souls, right? Or you can do all kinds of these different little things that you can only do in a video game because it's an interactive medium and it's not like a passively consumed thing. But a lot of people don't utilize the medium properly and that's where Land of the Lustrious succeeds because they built it from the ground up to be a 3D animated thing, right? They made all the models specifically in a way to make it easy to animate. They made, you know, they did the shot composition in, a, in 3D, right and they made it specifically to be 3d so when it's made it's amazing and it looks fantastic because they're utilizing the medium correctly right and they're thinking about that in the process of making it what matt's going on about here is something somewhat similar but i don't think he's connected the dots right he's talking about okay so the style you know these shows have all the style this one's you know whatever it's like, he's talking about how it, the show, right, is using the medium in a way that he finds to be, you know, intuitive and innovative, when in reality it's not really, <laughs> right? No, it's, make, going... it's still use it's still using the medium in the it's using the medium in a really good way, but I'm that doesn't mean me. that Shield Hero. But hang on, but hang on, but that doesn't yeah. mean that Shield Hero isn't right. Yeah, and, and there's a point I want to bring up. Mean, I'm going to be mean and say that Man and Matt just picked shows that he thought were pretty, and not probably not challenging because challenging means you you are attempting to change something or go against some convention, mm. and Isoken isn't trying to go against some convention in anime or animation. Yeah, it's it's pretty. Well, it's not. It, uh, you don't have to necessarily try to go against convention to challenge something. You can try to push the boundaries forward as yeah, well. Yeah, way. yeah, and that's what I was talking about with like the use and, of technology um, and the use of the media. Yeah, right? and, if like, anything, Land of the Lustrous is better. Like you were saying, is better illustrative of a you know man. We can have this anime style, but now we got 3D. And I'll be honest, when I first saw Land of the Lustrous, I started forgetting yeah. I was watching a 3D show. Yeah, we have a we have a completely different because I view like three D animation and two D animation to be completely different mediums, right? It's the difference between watercolor and acrylic, right? Yeah, it's com it's a completely different. No, they are. Thing you're absolutely right, and, and and you have to you think about that, and you and you can tell this when you look at uh, I bring up Berserk again, right? When you look at the shot compositions in Berserk, they're just using typical you know shots, whereas when you're looking at Land of the Lustrous, they're doing shit with the camera, right? The camera's moving with the characters. Exactly. It's like a, you, can, you, you feel like you're in a 3D space. It's not actually watching... so much yeah. easier to do, like, like a whole, like, the the the, the classic yeah. Michael Bay, like, the camera goes around oh, yeah. 360 degrees around the characters while they say yeah. shit just got real. Yeah, because you're, like, you're animating within a 3D environment. Exactly. It right? is so hard to do that using traditional animation and making it look mm. good which is why i think so many times when they do when they do mecha and stuff like that like there's so often like everybody bitches and complains about 3d invading their 2d anime but like i think that's why they put a lot of 3d anime yeah. like 3d models of like mecha and stuff like that in these shows is because you can actually like it's a lot easier to rotate around now granted yeah. They get lazy doing that sometimes, but aside from that, like you know, what is exactly what you for were saying. Every la laz for every lazy example, you have something like Fafnir and the Azure, which like has fantastic scenes composed using three D models that like actually give scope to like the setting and the battles and stuff like that. 
Yeah, or, and it, and it's o- and it's only and getting it's only getting better as people are starting to uh, <laughs> their people are starting to understand what I'm talking about. Yeah, the idea that it's not the same and that there's so much more freedom that you can do and so much you know different things that are possible within it. Okay. It's like exploring a whole right. new world. Well, right? granted, you can animate. Right. So can I make you a point? Can animate these things. Can I make a point? Yeah, but okay, did you ahead. want to say something new? Yes, I wanted to say something. Like I'm um, talking about, like the Berserk animation. I think I think I think a big problem with like the Berserk 2016 anim- um, animation is aesthetics. Because if you look at like Berserk, like it's very gritty, it's very dark and stuff like that. And I don't mm. think the CGI really complements well, it to that gritty style. Well, you see, I the thing with I, okay, okay, we're gonna I'm gonna like I'm gonna the, we're gonna, get, like we're the, gonna end up getting way we're gonna, off. We're, we're getting a bit off. So what I'm gonna do that is leads, I'm gonna, that I'm gonna leads in whole new directions, man. I want to talk yeah, about that's that going thing. A bit off topic. I w- well, I wanted to bring that up, I wanna, but then okay, Foreman asked okay, something to say. And okay, then. okay. No, I'm gonna finish this point by talking about that because that's actually is a good point, right? About the aesthetics, right? With Berserk and saying that a 3D Berserk actually could work. A 3D Berserk actually could work because it did in the movies. The movies, in my opinion, the first one was a little bit rough. The second one was a little bit better. The third one was actually pretty decent. Yeah. But then the show happened. I, 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 right? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think the movies were that bad. But massive amounts of people were butt hurt by that, though. Yeah, but a lot of people were mad about. But I actually, like, I watched the movies kind of like without any of that. No, I watched them years later. Right? Wait, you didn't, you didn't watch the original TV show? Oh, no, I'm not. tell me why. Tell me, <laughs> me why. why. Um, I got to get around to that stuff, but I, I I understand why people are mad because the original TV show looks fucking great, right? I understand. Yeah, it looks but all like, right. Yeah, like it looks it looks good, you know, for the time and whatnot. But when when we're talking about the 3D, right? Like I feel like the movies actually did do a pretty good job, and you could actually see them improving over time, right? Like I said, the first one was a bit jank. It was it was it was fine, but it was like a bit jank. The second one got better. The third one, I would actually argue, was really good and actually illustrated a lot of the stuff really well but then the show happened right so i feel like it could have worked and it's not just like oh well the aesthetics you know it didn't look right i think that you could make the aesthetic work it's just it needed you know i don't know it needed people working on it that had the same mindset as the people that worked on land of illustrious where it was like okay, um and uh, another like th- there are shows okay. that can pull off cgi well um, for example, um, Digimon Adventure or Digimon Tales, yeah, when they use CGI yeah, we've, we've for the evolution sequences, it looks beautiful and cool, and it fits aesthetically because the Digimon are digital creatures and stuff yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. But, and but, it, but it fits we, we, the we, we, we've gone off topic enough on that. But I think that was actually, uh, okay. That, but let's that was that was a good kind of you know discussion about that. Yeah, I, I wanted to bring up the Berserk thing, but, you know, it's just like, okay, thank you, but yeah, let's, let's go. Let's go. I feel like this anime was thought of and created to be an anime and could never truly have as much of an impact in any other medium. All right. Mm-hmm. Look, what the mm-hmm. fuck does that mean? Mm-hmm. I don't know about that. I don't know about that one, Chief. <laughs> you could do this show. It's okay. Impact. What do you? Okay, the impact. Could, could you go right. back and replay yeah, that? Because I didn't hear. I didn't hear it for a second. Right. Yeah, let's let's all go right, all the way back. Actually, go back before right. that even started, and and okay, so we okay. hear the I'm last thing. Go, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to here to see. All right. So let's let's all be quiet and listen. Hands off, Ezekin is doing in this show. I feel like this anime was thought of and created to be an anime and could never truly have as much of an impact in any other medium. Look. All right. Mm. So I I want you to know that Manime Matt does no research, and therefore he doesn't know this is adapted from a manga. Uh, <laughs> <animated> <laughs> <television>. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Just uh. of course. Fuck you! I don't read manga. <laughs> Fuck you, I don't read, 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 man. read, read. Werner Herzog is coming for you, man, I mean, Matt. Oh, damn it. Damn it, Matt. Oh, my God. Because I was about to say, I'm like, I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know about that one. I think that you could... I think you could pull this off. No, 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 you want to know how bad this is? Soon. You want to know how bad this is? This is beyond... Okay, man, I mean, Matt is on Mal. I'm looking at his Mal list right now. Okay, you want to know what's even funnier? When you, how bad is it? Let, let, let me find this show. What the hell is this show called? 
uh, keep uh, your hands off the... In Japanese. Is- Izuken. Uh, Izuken no Teo Desuna. Izuken? Izuken. Okay, hold Izuken. on. Izuken. 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 Okay, Ishukan friends, is that it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, wrong okay. No, that's not it. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, okay. He, the thing is, like, if you go and you look up your fucking show, I, 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 was, I shouldn't cuss. I'm sorry. I don't know if we're going to get No, no, no. We, I swear. I swear all the time. All right. you, when you look we, up we your fucking like show on, point. on fucking my anime list, you scroll down and it says, oh, look, adaptation. And it gives you a link to the goddamn oh. fucking manga. The yeah, fuck yeah. is wrong with this guy? For Manatus, for, listen, you need to understand, scrolling down a page requires effort, Yeah, scrolling okay? down is hard, okay? Like, you can't expect... You know, you've got to look, move your hands. Look, look you this is a mouse. casual channel. This is a casual channel for casuals, right? His own words, right? This is a casual Patience, channel. Yes. I shouldn't have to. I shouldn't have to do all of the study and go and do all this stuff because I'm a casual channel, right? Like, look, Matt, Matt. Just come scroll on, down on my come, anime come on. list and click a link. Come on. And even then, even if it wasn't adapt- an adaptation, right? Even if it wasn't an adaptation, that is an objectively shit take. <laughs> like, like I don't know about that one, right? The idea that, oh, well, it, it was made specifically to be an anime and it, it wouldn't work in any other medium. Like, that's just wrong. Oh, look, I, because I mean- good adaptations exist of anything. Like, you could, like, the, funnily enough, right? Ruby is a funny example of this because the manga for Ruby is actually really good. Like the the reverse, right? The adaptation of Ruby into a manga actually makes it better. <laughs> so <laughs> the idea that you you can't like, like like that something can only be made and work in certain medium, it's like no. <laughs> well, it's it's no. it's funny because it's like I, I'm. I, Oh, but on. I'm 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 just having a hard time even for me because I got so many we're, things going through my head. We're breaking full. We're broken. You broke yeah. me. <laughs> no <laughs> full Don't this break. Guy, well, my plan. It's just like I, I've actually been trying to like you know I don't want to bully the guy, but yeah. at the same time, because yeah. <laughs> we're you know you're right. You guys, we're all like on the verge of being a bullying channel. But yeah, at, we. <laughs> at the same time, I'm like, so I'm kind of trying to play sort of a little bit devil's advocate here and there. Would you, you know, like, oh no, let's wait to see what he said. But this yeah. is this is just this is just lazy beyond like, dude, like, bro, like, dude, I, you know the old the old meme like, dude, do you even lift? Like, yeah, it's like, yeah. dude, do you even read like the alphabet? I mean, come dude, on. Do you even read? Do you even read? Yeah, bro? Do, you, do you even do you read, even bro? Read? Like, I, it's not even. Do you even read manga? Do you even read books? I'm like, feel like I feel like with this guy, like, bro, do you even read the alphabets? Like, come on, man. Like, Jesus. I just, God. Yeah, I just, I, I just like. It, oh, fucking hell. It's, it's, yeah, this, this is my plan all along. <laughs> <laughs> you're obviously because you're from Gaul, Ali. You just want to sack Rome. Just like, just uh, admit it. All right, all right. You're weird, yeah, man. So, <laughs> so no, so this is another big flaw of anime math. Besides, yeah, not explaining. Uh, oh, there's so many. I forget, forgot them already. <laughs> I'm not explaining. Listen, he has so many flaws. You could fill like you could make you could write a full page novel. Okay. He doesn't. Okay. Yeah, he but... doesn't explain. He doesn't explain things. He doesn't properly utilize his knowledge, and he's lazy. Well, if he has actually that knowledge. Well, if he if he's not just bullshitting, yeah. But like, no, they, they... assume it. It's giving benefit of the doubt and assuming that he does have the degree that he says he does, which is you know somewhat dubious. Look, like, like and, and but... dead serious. Like I'm in a position because I. I I work in academia. I'm in a position where I could verify what if yeah. he publish if if he basically this is a challenge, brah. I want your transcripts. <laughs> I want your transcripts, oh, brah. I don't I want you to I want you to post your transcripts online. You know, put a link of put a link to them up on your 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 uh mal page, man. I'm going to take Tran- a look. Transcript wars. I w- Let's go. I want to see your transcript, and I'm and I I I have the ability to um, contact your the the place that you 
got you know just to check yeah, up no and make bully. sure that those transcripts are legit and not doctored. No, it's not bully. It's not bully. It's just verification. It's just, you know, because you talk a good game. Like, if he has a film degree, why isn't he? Sh- why isn't it like in the background of his videos when he does like the face cam stuff? Yeah, like, you, should, like you should do. That. I, I would degree. if I had a fucking degree, I'd be showing that off. No, well. <laughs> See, I don't want to show anything. I use it because I don't want people like you know. I like my privacy. Oh yeah, I don't want yeah, to be that. Don't I don't want to be that yeah, famous. Yeah, yeah. I, I I know, but if he's got like a fucking film degree, like freaking show it to us. Like show us. Nah, anyway, you know what? Like, but no, uh, but yeah, anyway, so, but anyway. Yeah, yeah anyway. I, I I wanted to sum up with the flaws and why Man of Mad shows up so often on our channel is because he doesn't explain his point, which is gives us ample of time and time play, to fear, uh, hypothesize and talk about. Yeah, shit, gives yeah. a lot of talk about. Then he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't explain. He doesn't. What was the second again? Uh, he doesn't utilize his knowledge correctly. Yeah, or, so we uh, we can yeah. criticize his approach to things. Yeah. So yeah. He, hey, I want to talk about this. Well, you did explain, and then talk, talk, talk. Well, why didn't you use your know? Why didn't you use your knowledge? And you could have said this and this and this. Yeah. We know you could because you have the degree. And then not do any research, which makes yeah. which makes him just fall into these traps that he took himself mm. so easily that we can just point like, and laugh. Yeah, it's this is like, like this is like know, the break, this like is like a the perfect, village idiot. This is the perfect break, like an analytical breakdown of why we cover this dude, right? It's this is perfect because it's like. Yeah. Again, you're you're hundred percent correct because he doesn't do the research. It's why we have such great moments as Stalin banned science, right? Like, because that was the best. I still, I, I still can't get. Oh, what was this? He, and he doesn't. He, he doesn't make me like watching his videos. Doesn't make me legitimately upset. So like you know, it, it's I mean, the yeah, fun type it's of just thing. Fun, yeah. It's it's more like he's just fun to cover. Did he? Like, did he? Just, did he actually say like Stalin banned science? Ah, uh, we'll, yes. we'll Phil, Phil, we'll catch we'll catch you up on the deep lore after the episode because it's gonna. Oh be funny. boy. <laughs> Yeah, like, one of my Matt is, like, the village idiot of any two. Dude, I told like, you I didn't want shit. us to be, like, okay, we yeah, just yeah, don't, crossed don't the line. Don't get too right? Like, like, we gotta be Ellie, careful Ellie, about, Ellie, like, the names. do me a favor. <laughs> when that comes up, bleep it. Like, beep, like, old style, right? Uh, I don't think that was that bad. Like, we've done well. I've done, look, I have a quote I have a quote of me saying that people that subscribe to Mother's Basement are R-words. So I think, I think we're already a bit too far down the line on that. But it's it's it, it's like, yeah, we don't want to be, like, too bully but it's like we're, we're making... We're trying to make, like, actual valid criticisms of his content and the shit that he's saying, right? Yeah. But sometimes, and sometimes he says stuff that's just so stupid that it's really hard not to just crack up and laugh at him. Right and make fun of him. It's and talk about his appearance and shit. We, we, <laughs> Some, we, sometimes, little bit of bullying. Let, let's little let's bit. start punching. Little bit. I, I like. Think, I think we should start punching up though. We should start going after Mother's Basement instead. Oh, uh, we do. We, we do. It's just he hasn't. The problem with person. Mother's Basement is that he's fucking boring. <laughs> Like yeah. yeah, you could punch up and go Literally, after he Mother's Basement, the same but three like points it's just, nauseum. Yeah, it's like it's, no, it's a lot of the times I don't even necessarily disagree with them. It's just right, like oh yeah, his let, let, Let's go after what the what then? Oh no, not again! No, <laughs> not again! Not again. Okay. No, I, I, we, I, I am not. No, I no no. So we so we just okay okay finish okay, video okay before okay. we. Let's, Talk about let's the finish ones. the video. Let's finish the video before we start theory crafting what we're gonna do next. So let's let's see what is close because we're close to the end now. So let's see what Matt's closing statements are, and then we'll. we'll I'm gonna be start. real with you guys. It's really difficult to explain just why this anime is so jaw dropping. What? Each no, it episode isn't. just pulls you in, and every week I find myself desperately hoping for more. The characters are incredible. The Their manga. way of teaching you these <laughs> yeah. small little animation techniques and how they work Dude. is surprising. No, 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 no. Okay, no, no, no. World- I'm rewinding that. We're watching that again, and I want the people watching right. the fucking oh, God, podcast no. to see this shit. Okay, watch this. <laughs> watch let me, this. Let me go back. Building and the oh, animation. Shit. Hold on, I'll go back. Over no, I, I was, I was trying the to rewind. Oh, you're rewinding. You, you, you do it. You do it. These small right little here. animation techniques and how okay, they work right is there. surprisingly informative. Dude, that is like two frames. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Repeated over and over and cycle. over again. He's gonna sit here and talk about yeah, how this pushes the boundaries, and he's showing this shit. touching the ground. 
This is terrible. This is like, you don't, if you were trying to sell this show, you do not want to post, it's literally two frames, repeated over and over, two in-between frames, repeated over and over again, to make it look like they're running. That is ridiculous. That is bad. That is not good animation. It's not fluid. It's choppy. It's, it's, and you're going to try to sell this show by showing that? Come on, man. Do you even understand yeah. Yeah, what also, the hell if you're you look making? At the, if you look at the, if you look at the scene, she isn't even touching the freaking ground. Like, it's all like, yeah. almost like a mid-ear. But anyway, yeah, that's, yeah, let's, let's keep going. And the world building and the animation for this show is just on another Really? Level. Not just what you Wait, showed when me. did he I talk about the world building? Really talk about the soundtrack either. <laughs> there are what just fucking so world? Many elements in this show that just work so wonderfully together. It's just hard to explain them all. I just feel like this is an anime <laughs> where the entire sorry, crew came together with their passion to create something that would truly blow everyone away. Thank you guys for watching. A huge thing to my Patreon. Oh, here comes the Patreon. Pause, pause, pause. pause. Oh not, my God, dude. Patreons. Yo, I know Twitter. Th I, I know Twitch thoughts you should be spending your money on, guys. <laughs> like, sorry. So, that would be um, money better spent. So I feel like I feel like this was the perfect breakdown, kind of, of what, what why we cover Matt a lot and why he keeps popping up on the channel. It's because... As Ali said, this scene, it's like it's a format, right? He has this format of problems that he keeps tripping up over constantly. He is punching and above it's... his weight class is really what he's doing. And I, I think mm. that's why he keeps falling afoul of all these problems. Because if he just basically made a show uh, that, that all it said was, all the episode said was, I really like this show, you should watch it. And then he went through all mm. the reasons. Uh, even yeah, in which our, is, which even, is what a lot of other channels do. Even right? if, they do they'll yeah. just be like, hey, this this show's I like this show, yeah. it's really cool. Like I like it because it's got flashy and, 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 and there's nothing but he's, freaking he's wrong, with that. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. He's trying nothing wrong with that at no, all. No, but he's trying to make it some kind of like thesis statement and shit like that. And it's like, nah, bruh, your thesis statement for this video should be I dig this show because of A, B, and C and then like just make the uh, make make this and you know, even if you're like not the most articulate person at explaining like why when the animation's good, as opposed to like two frames repeated yeah. over and over again, um, like you know, like you could do that, like, and we can accept like this, <sighs> but you're like you're trying to pose this as like some kind of like on the level yeah. of 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 what other people. I don't I don't want to say other people because. Well, like I, you know I, I what I'm like, trying I, to get I, at. I, I watch a few other video and um, video essayists, and like Manami Man has nothing on these people because so these people have actually that, that, point, that, actual points. It's funny, Phil, that you say that because that's exactly what I was saying before about how Manami Matt frames his videos. Right, he frames his videos as being like this. Um, he's making like a thesis statement, right? What if um, Excel World got big instead of SAO? What you know, like that's a that's a thing that you should be doing a thesis on, right? But then, instead of doing that, he just talks about Excel World and how much he loves Excel World and thinks it's really cool and explains Excel World to the viewers and stuff. And how right? it is an isekai. And how it is an isekai when it technically isn't, right? And Technically, it isn't. It, it just yeah. isn't. It is, yeah, no, you're right, you're right, yeah, it isn't. So, he's, he's talking about that, right? And, and that's the problem, is that if you want to make a video where you just gush over Excel World, just make a video where you gush over Excel World. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But don't frame it as if it's like this. Don't frame it as if you're trying to answer a question when you're not actually. I'll, I'll trying tell you to why he's doing that, right? Because that's what, what the what does. That's what everybody mm. else does. That's what all these guys do, right? I and and honestly, dude, like I keep saying it over and over again. My goal, my go-to gold standard for any tubers, really is Demolition D, and Demolition yeah. D. He he was not pretentious. His videos were straightforward. He put in the title like, hell, half of his titles were "Should you watch blank," and it's like, yeah. it was and that it was, simple. And it was, it, and, he, and he had a good, he had a good um execution of comedy within the videos as well to break yeah, up I, I really the, hope he comes stuff. back from Avalon I miss, man. I'm, I, I miss him I miss him so bad you, you know there's a level of like pretentiousness 
about these type of these, these these type of content creators. It's like it's like one of those people who goes to a modern art museum and they just paint they so they paint a canvas of just white paint and they say it's oh, the, look, banana. the banana, it's the banana cell type. It's the banana. Yeah. It's the banana this this white paint yeah, the represents the the emptiness of of modern day life. Yeah, and then you have no, something back to it. I, I, I do want to point up. out like there are there are there are channels that I know of where and I, I, you know, and if if anybody's interested, I I can list three right off the top of my head: Rocket Jumps, uh, Film School, Every Frame of Painting, and the Discarded Image. Like those three right. channels, these guys, if they don't have film degrees, I'll I'll I'm surprised yeah. because they make on point videos about well, the Every Frame of Painting retired, but. They uh, made the on videos point are video. still there, so they're still they're still yeah. up, and it's like and and so those guys like if they don't have film degrees, they got something close, and if this guy has a film degree, man, his he he's wasting his potential. Well, he's he's asleep at the wheel, and and he's spending so much time, also like editing it to make it look all pretty and everything like that, like. I'm dude. I'm all. Well, I'm all is, substance, no yeah. style. I don't give a fuck well, if your shit is, looks well, stylish or not. Well, the, these yeah. videos, I don't even think are that difficultly edited, right? Like he's just like he's just got clips of the show, and then every so often his little avatar will pop. No, fuck. I, I use image. MS Paint. Come on, let's get let's get real. <laughs> I, I it, this anyway, shit's light years beyond what I'm capable of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's 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 not. I'm not saying like it's. He definitely puts work into it, but I'm just saying, like, if you look at, well, if you compare yeah, like his editing to something like Joe or something like a certain someone, um, who who might be uh, getting covered in the next couple of months, maybe. Uh, we'll we'll see. You see, we'll put we'll drop that. I'm mean, I think we're gonna end it on dropping that little seed, that little mm. tiny little seed. Or and, just maybe uh, we'll, let's say he, he, he maybe does more editing than us. Or than me. But yeah, he doesn't worry about anything else. <laughs> um, but anyway, we will we will catch you all on the next episode. Ye- bye bye. Peace out.